Welcome back, everyone, to the only thing more consistent than death, taxes, and disappointing season finales. It's cats being dodgy. This one is an outright show-off. I'm not jelly. <laughs> it's not that I'm jelly. I just think it's showing off. Not everyone is that flexible, so it's mean. They have such poor manners. <laughs> Look at this one, you can literally see the tiny devil kitty on his shoulder whispering into his ear to hurt the doggo. Maybe I'll break his neck, he thinks. Nah, I'll go straight for his kidneys. There's so many ways to kill him. The dog is like, uh, dude, I can totally fucking hear you. You're not using your internal monologue. This is quite upsetting. I thought we were friends. Yeah, look, don't touch me, okay? The cat says, sorry, I have to. As they say, curiosity killed the cat, and I am indeed a cat. Oh, you're a fucking dick is what you are. Uh, excuse me. Yeah? Welcome. Punch. The poor doggo is traumatized. He's like, what is this? A King's Cross kebab shop on Saturday night? Hey, are these your balls? Punch. No hesitation, just cold, calculated nut shottery. Crikey, this one moves like a fucking xenomorph. They are the perfect killers. Evolving, changing, hungry for fish. This one freaks me out big time. How did it do that? It's developed scanners-esque telekinetic abilities. Seriously, this furry sociopath functions on a whole other level. Tripping people up over long distances, it's insane. You'd hope it would use its powers for good, but nah, pure evil. Help, I'm trapped. The cockatoo saves the day only to find a cat. What are you doing? Asks the cocky, punching you in the fucking face. <laughs> right, well, fuck you then. Come on, I was kidding. Let me out. I promise I won't hit you again, says the cat. The cocky, being an honourable bloke, decides to open the lid. Fine, says the cocky, but don't you dare. Don't you fucking touch me. You tried to hit me again. Oh, come on, I was kidding. No, fuck you. Ungrateful, untrustworthy bastard. You know something is wrong with a cat when even other cats are running scared. Look at him piss bolt. In true horror cliche, his mate is like, hey, where are you going? Oh, fuck a duck. Stop doing that shit, Tim. Man, you're weird. This Buddhist monk is trying really hard to get through his mantra. Oi, stop it, cat. You're making me look bad in front of the boss. But this cat is like, who cares, bro? Buddha was right. Reincarnation is real. It's fucking real. I used to be a bus driver, then I was a sex pest, and now I'm an even bigger asshole. Anyway, all of these cat videos have me aggravated. The only thing that can make me feel better is the sheer joy of a successful Rudy Goldberg machine video. Look at this, through a tunnel, off a wall, round a corner, perfect angles, now down the stairs. Wait, no, what? No! 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 Oh, wait! Wait! No way! No way! Yeah, oh! That was lucky, cat. You redeemed yourself. You and your mates are back in the good books. At least until my next video. How you going, you big bloody beautiful bastards? Here's me face. Today's dodgy ass cat commentary is sponsored by Audible. Click the link in the post description below, audible.com slash Aussieman, to access a massive library of audio books. There's also a huge selection of podcasts and wellness programs, theatrical performances, comedy, Audible originals. There's probably things to do with cats or lions or all the audio frequencies. Right now, I'm listening to... Scotty Pape, the barefoot investor, tell me how to use my money. And banks meddle with things. So I've updated for tax changes, Kim Kardashian's net worth, and retirement figures for the coming financial year. Yeah, let's not lie. We all need someone to just outright tell us what to do with our money. Anyway, uh, the link is in the post description below. Audible.com slash Aussie Man. Every month you get one title credited plus two Audible originals. Go check it out. All right, see ya. Bye.